Ignore this pile of clothes right here. We will get to that in a second. But before you guys do anything, make sure to like this video and subscribe. My name's Haley, and I am like a everything channel, almost. Like an everything bagel has everything on it. I'm an everything channel. So I know I love bagels. But so you're gonna be styling some of my mom's vintage clothes. I'm currently 18 years old, and my mom was about my age in like Y2K era. So she has a bunch of super, super, super cute clothes that are also very like applicable to today's trends. So I am gonna be styling them in ways that you guys can wear. So without further ado, I guess let's just get straight into it. But before you do that, make sure to subscribe because I know where all of you guys live. All right, so here is this outfit right here. I'm styling my mom's vintage for everyone. Forever 21, um, what, what would you call this? Like a baby doll top? It has a lettuce edge combined with some of the summer 2023 fashion trends, cherries, and also this sheer fabric, which I am so tempted to cut out the lining and just have this be sheer right here. But I have a feeling that sheer is a little bit of a micro trend, so I would not do that if you were thinking about cutting the lining off of your clothes, unless you're like die hard for the sheer trends. Like you are absolutely certain, because I I don't see it sticking around personally, but I paired it with this black mini skirt that I got from Princess Polly. I felt like it flowed really nicely with the silhouette, the lettuce edge, everything. Mwah. Also, I love the lace right here. I think it's so, so cute. And the cherries are like actually embroidered into the fabric and not just like printed on super like cheap vibes. No, I paired it with these black boots. They are platform. I got them from Dolls Kill, I believe. Uh, I'm not really sure. It's been a while since I actually got these boots been like two years but soon hopefully we'll be replacing them with some naked wolf because I want them back. I think I'm gonna also put this purse with it. I was thinking maybe my cherry tote also could go cute with it. If you're thinking like a more casual vibe, this makes it a little bit dressed down, you know, but if you're going out or something, maybe you could have a little tiny micro purse because I know that that trend is kind of dying now and it's all about the big Jane Birkin-esque type of bags. But I think that this purse actually goes really, really well with this outfit, even though it is super, super tiny, extremely impractical, but I think it's adorable. I got this in Las Vegas. I guess when I was like six years old, I think it has like these little jewels embezzled, not embezzled, embedded in it, and it has like this red lining. And I just I think that it honestly just fits the vibe really perfectly. I am definitely gonna be wearing a lot of sheer this summer if my bank account allows it, but I do really love this trend. I've combined a few trends. We have the long white maxi skirt, of course, super, super trendy for this summer. And then this thing that I'm styling that's vintage is this right here. It is a, it's a vintage Abercrombie and Fitch, I believe. No, Polo Jeans Co. I think it's Ralph Lauren actually, but it's vintage and my mom, fire style back in the day. Thank you for giving me all these beautiful clothes because they're literally so pretty. Um, but yeah, so I'm styling it just like this with this white maxi skirt you know it kind of has like a little bit of like this popular lace i think it's called like eyelet or something and even though i'm wearing it with these purple hoppers these are not my shoe of choice to be honest with this outfit i would much rather have like a light tan leather riding boot with maybe like a two inch heel i think that that'd be mwah, perfect with it and then here's the hair I love the ribbon and the hair trends. Like, I think this is the cutest thing ever. I'm so excited to be wearing this trend so much this summer. This is super, super cute and adorable. And even though, personally, oh wait, hold on. I have my little micro bag, another one. But even though personally, I don't know if I can wear this or not outside of my house because like, I don't know, I've, I'm working on building up my fashion confidence to dress more how I want to, but like, it's a little scary. But I think that it's a really cute outfit overall, to be honest. Honestly, it, it would make me a lot more confident if I had those riding boots because like, I don't know, these Converse, they're like cute and stuff, but I feel like it's just like not the vibe I'm going for. You know, I'm going for like Pinterest girl aesthetic, ooh, meow, meow, meow. If that makes sense, which it, it does, it does, you guys get it. But yeah, here's this. I'm I'm literally actually in love with this outfit though. Like this is so cute. The only thing is, is it's like a little too hot to wear this where I live right now. So I'm gonna have to like wait until the fall, but it's okay, it's all good. <laughs> This is how you know that I love 
love you guys because I'm wearing a full cashmere sweater right now when it is 80 degrees outside. I'm so hot right now. I'm suffering and I'm sick. I love you guys. But anyways, this one's really cute. I did an outfit similar to this in my Blair Waldorf inspired lookbook, but this is my mom's actual real cashmere sweater. The other one was like a knockoff. This is from Ralph Lauren. I love it so much. So the only thing is, is it has these two like, little holes right here, which I have to get fixed. But I think that the hair also goes very, very nicely with this. Got white mini skirt from Princess Polly. These beautiful leg warmers from my ballet days for the ballet core element. Then I have Uggs. I don't have the mini Uggs, I don't have platform Uggs, I just have the regular, I don't know, mid-cap Uggs, even though I want to. I want the mini platform Uggs so bad. Like, there are so many things right now, like, I'm addicted to Pinterest, as you can probably tell, and there's a lot of things that I want, but unfortunately we cannot get everything we want, can we? But I thought that this was super, super cute, because I feel like it's kind of, like, playing into, like, the ballet core trend, even though it's, like, kind of dying down a little bit now. Also, it's the middle of summer, and who's wearing cover in the middle of summer? But for a winter look, I think this is super, super, super cute. Came to the party, ready to lose. No sweat. As you guys can see, this is a very, very, very beautiful dress. I I think it's from either Gus or Calvin Klein. I'm pretty sure it's Gus though. And I wouldn't wear my hair like this, but I don't want to take it out quite yet. It's too cute. But I would definitely pair it with these gold heels because I think that it goes really, really well with like the brown color in the fabric, you know, kind of like the beige and then like the dark threads we have going on here. I think it looks super, super cute, super stylish. The only thing is, is I definitely need to get it altered. But that's a problem for another day. So you can just pretend for now. I could be worn for so many different things, you know, you can wear this to like a graduation, a picnic, a funeral, no, I'm just kidding. But I don't know, I think you can wear it to like a lot of different things, you know? You could dress it up really well or dress it down also. I think that this would also go great with like a little baby tee underneath and like some air forces or something. I think that it's honestly so versatile. And once again, thank you mommy because you have the best clothes ever. I would definitely wear my little Kate Spade with this. So I think the gold with the gold, you feel with the gold earrings, gold hoops. I think this is super, super cute. I feel very fancy. I did also forget to mention, it's a halter style dress, which I think is super, super cute. And it's like a baby doll halter dress, basically, which is so 90s, like Y2K. And I love it so, so, so much. So there's kind of like a seam right here, you know, like I think it's just so adorable, like how it has this tie in the back. It's making something that's super, what's the word? It's just making something a little bit more dressed down when it's dressy. This might be my favorite outfit, honestly, by far. This was completely spontaneous. I literally had no idea what I was gonna like style this jacket with because the jacket is vintage Victoria's Secret. I love it. It's literally my favorite thing for my mom. So it has these like little bows on the sleeves, which I feel like is very on trend with like, you know, all, like the ribbony bow stuff. It also has this really fun like statement zipper. It's like this pink puff ball and it's also kind of like ruched, which means like cinched in right here. Awesome, right? And then in the back, it is amaze balls. And then even better, look at this hood. Like, are you guys seeing this? Like the furry hood with like the sunglasses. Like, I feel like, like the clock clip. I feel like Paris Hilton right now, honestly. Then also I paired it with these micro shorts. They're like a nod to like the Adidas track pair micro short trend, as I'm sure you guys have seen. And then with it, I'm styling it with these pink Jordans. They are black, white, and pink. I love them so much. They're high tops, which I don't necessarily love for this outfit, but I think that it fits in very well with the micro shorts and then also I have this bright pink claw clip to go with like the sunglasses and like everything and I honestly feel like it just ties it all together like the sunglasses mm -hmm. but I feel very much like I'm channeling my inner like Paris Hilton Azalea Banks like <laughs> But I think that I'm going to be wearing this to the airport, honestly, because I'm going to Vegas next week. But I think that this honestly might be my airport fit because it's just so like, it's like comfy, but it's like serving. I think you guys know. Plus, I think that my mom would honestly love to be seeing me like in her old clothes. I think that would like make her day. So stay tuned. So I might have a video coming for you guys in the future at the airport that is very out of my comfort zone. Let's just say that. Honestly, I feel like this necklace would go so good with this too. It says princess. I feel like it's honestly just like keeping up the vibes so hard. Like the Y2K is going strong. <laughs> That is all for this video. If you guys want a part two, let me know in like the comments. Let me know on my Instagram. 
DM me like whatever because I still have like enough clothes to do a part two for sure. So if you guys want to see me style some more of my mom's old vintage clothes, then give this video a thumbs up so that way I know that you like it. And I can do that for you guys. It's so hot. Like I know I said that before, but like it is so hot right now. Like it's insane actually. Like I, I really like it's too hot for me. Like I can't do this. But yeah, if you guys had a good time watching, make sure to like, like comment and like let me know and stuff because like I love it when you guys comment. It like makes my day. Like literally, like whenever I see like a new comment, I'm like oh, somebody took the time out of their day to do that for me. So if you guys like the video, make sure to comment something. Um, hopefully something nice. That that's definitely the preferred comment. But yeah, make sure to subscribe also because I don't know we just hit 200 not too long ago and I'm so thankful for that. I had a lot of fun making this video. It was super super fun and I love playing around with like fashion and stuff so much so this really just like let my inner fashionista have some fun but yeah thanks you guys thank you guys so much for watching <laughs> and i hope you guys have a great rest of your day bye